welcome back to Art Unboxed. Today I have a special guest with me again, and if you'll notice, the light is a little different because it's daytime and it's time to make a snack. Today we're going to be making pancakes, which is one of my favorite kid cooking activities, but it's also a really great thing that you can do if you're feeling a little bit unsure about your cooking proficiency. Um, pancakes are a really good jumping off point. So we're gonna make a batter um, with leftover oatmeal because one of my favorite things is figuring out ways to use up leftovers. For a minute. And we have a kitty. And we have a kitty. Called Momo. Called Momo. Very special guests here. Um, so one of my favorite things to do is use up leftovers. Today we have leftover oatmeal. We're gonna incorporate that into pancakes. So we're gonna be making a sweet pancake with bananas. Again, we're using up our bananas that are getting a little questionable. Mm -hmm. um, a little brown, a little mushy. We're gonna make a sweet pancake with a dipping sauce that kids can do. And we're also gonna take half the batter and we're gonna make a savory pancake. So um, ham, cheese, onions, kind of like a nice uh, snack that kids could make or even a lunch. So let's get started. So first we're gonna make our batter. We're going to take our leftover oatmeal. This is about a cup and a half. Can I spoon that in? Yeah. And we can smoosh it up a little bit. We'll add one egg. You wanna help me crack it? Tablespoons of oil. You can you can also use you can also use melted butter if you're so inclined. I'm using just a neutral kind of vegetable oil um, because if you use olive oil, it might have a kind of strong taste. But that's totally up to you. Any oil is fine. So let's mash that up together. Egg. Yep, egg, egg up, and we'll break up all that, all that uh, oatmeal. Break up, 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 Hey, are you ready to add the milk? Yeah. So we have three quarters cup of milk. You, we're using cow milk, but you can use any kind of milk you'd like. Now, if you want to skip all this, you could actually just use a pancake mix. If you have that, if that's simpler, that's totally fine. No judgments at all. And you can just um, incorporate the oatmeal, your cooked oatmeal into it while you're mixing. Okay. So we have all of these stirred up, right? Pretty well? What do you yeah. think? Ready? Okay. Cool. So now we're gonna add the dry ingredients. This is usually done in the opposite order, but because of the oatmeal, we had to do it. So this is a yeah. half cup of flour. I have a little bit of white flour and also a little bit of whole wheat flour. That's up to you. I just like to sneak in the whole wheat where I can. No, nope, well, not yet. And we're gonna add a teaspoon of baking powder. Careful with baking powder because it can be very bitter. Um, so if you put too much in, that's gonna, you're really gonna taste it. Okay. And now we're just gonna add a sprinkle of salt. I see which one we want. The sprinkle. I thought. Okay. Do you want to help? This nope. Do you want to help me? I know that one's for pouring. Do you want to help me stir the the flour? Okay. Good job holding the side of the bowl. And we want to make sure we go 
around the sides and through the middle. Around the sides and through the middle. Good job. Now, the thing you've got to be careful about with pancakes is over mixing the flour because that'll make it tough if you mix too much. So you really want to mix just until everything is mixed together. The reason for that is that wheat flour has proteins called glutens. I'm sure we've all heard of them. And they're actually spring shaped. And what happens when you stir them is that they bind together and they make it really chewy. The spoon was sinking. That's okay. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. So now we've got our batter. We're gonna divide it in half. We're gonna do half savory and half sweet. We'll do the sweet first so that our sweet pancakes don't taste like onions. So we've divided, oh, that's making a lot of noise. We've divided our batter in half. Half is gonna be savory. This is our sweet. Now, if you could add some cinnamon. And cinnamon comes from what? Do you remember? Oh no. It's from the bark of a tree. Pretty cool, right? It comes from the bark of a tree. <laughs> so could you just stir that in for me, please? A little bit. Mm. That's okay. Can I just lick it off? Oh, it's got some raw egg in it, so not recommended. Okay, let's put this to the side. Uh, it's okay. I need a nap. I got you, babe. Here, right here. This is when aprons come in handy, right? I just wipe it on my apron. You can wipe it on my apron, too, if you want. Okay. Would you like to cut the banana? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. So Definitely. this banana is... Definitely. Getting a little past its prime for eating. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just thin slices, okay? Cutting bananas is a great way for kids to learn. Here, you can put your hand here. Watch your thumb. Watch your fingers. Cutting bananas is a great way for kids to learn how to use knives because they're really soft and you can just cut them with a butter knife. I'm gonna wipe that. Thanks. Okay, go ahead. Thin slices, right? Just about that size. Great job. And you can do the whole thing, okay? Good job. A little thick. Maybe you could cut that in half. Great. While he's doing this, I'm gonna get our pan heating up. Medium high heat, maybe right a little past medium, not too hot. That's one of those really tricky balances with pancakes. Um, I'm gonna use oil in my pan as well. Again, you can use butter if you prefer. And I'm just gonna put a little bit a little thinner on that one too. What do you think? Can you hold it? You can hold one side. Can I show you? If you hold this and you keep your fingers out of the way, then you can cut that up, right? Because it's not wiggling all over the place. Okay, you can wipe that on my apron. That's something stuck in my nail. In your nail? Oh boy. Banana. Banana. You get it out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, we have our pan heating. And we'll know it's ready when the oil is shimmering as it slides. It's not quite there yet. pan's black. Okay, so our pan has started heating up. The oil is shimmering when I move it. And what that means is when I say that, it's not just going down in a in a straight uh, straight sheet. It's got little ripples as it goes. So we're gonna 
take just uh, tablespoonfuls and get it started. Sometimes as you're cooking pancakes, you need to adjust the heat. If it gets too hot, they'll cook through on the outside too quickly, and then the insides will become raw. So that's something to look out for. And once we pour the batter in, then we can carefully, and this is a grown-up job, stick the banana slices in. They look well, like still eyeballs it does and look a like mouth. Eyeballs and a mouth. It's like the Mr. Bill pancake. So I'm going to gently press these in. No room for a mouth on that one. Why? Oh, it just didn't work out that way. So if you can see, there's bubbling happening on the sides. And when it starts to bubble in the middle and the sides look a little bit dry, then I'll know we can start flipping. Another trick with pancakes is not to put too much oil because they can get kind of greasy and weird. So there's a little bit of adjustment. Um, it takes a little bit. <laughs> it takes a little bit of finagling and a little bit of practice to get the perfect pancake, but you will be a pancake master if you just give it a try. Pancake what? Pancake master. I'm gonna turn these so that they cook evenly. This one looks like it's starting to get dry around the edges. We've got bubbling, so I'm gonna give that a flip. Ooh, these are a little Ooh. fragile, but they look really nice and brown and yummy. They look a little fragile, They're like a, little, a fragile thing. Like a fragile thing, right. They look a little fragile, like a fragile thing. So smaller is better for these because it just makes flipping easier. Okay. Not yet. This one needs a little bit of time, okay? Mm -hmm. ah. Let's see. Mmm, do you smell the bananas? As the bananas start cooking, they start caramelizing, so the sugar starts Can burning. You help me yeah. smell. Mm. Ready? You smell that? Mm -hmm. Banana smell, banana, banana smell. smell. Okay, banana do you want to flip it together? Be careful not to touch the pan. Right, and we try to get the whole thing up, and then... Whoop. So I cook these for about five minutes on each side. I actually turn the heat down to medium, verging on medium low because the, the um, oatmeal adds a lot of moisture. So they can get a little bit, which is really nice. Um, the moisture is really, really moist pancakes, but um, they can take a little bit longer than regular pancakes to cook. But now these are golden brown on both sides. The bananas have started to caramelize a little bit. And they're not, um, they're just nice and firm when you press them. Mm. So while the pancakes are cooking, we're going to quickly put together a little bit of dipping sauce. Since they're banana pancakes, I figured a little peanut butter would go well. So we have peanut butter. We have yogurt. And since it's plain yogurt... We're gonna sweeten it up with a little bit of syrup, just for fun. But if you're using, um, you know, vanilla yogurt or something, you probably don't need it. So we're gonna start out with about a quarter cup of peanut butter. A couple nice little glops there. And this is all by eye. We're just gonna eyeball it. I eyeball it. Well, because we don't necessarily need to measure this. 
Because it's okay if it's not exactly. No, I want it. You want to do that? Okay. Here you go. I want to let the yogurt off. Okay. You can lick the yogurt off. I'm going to make the sauce while you lick it, okay? And then we're going to try to pour about the same amount of yogurt in. Do you want to help me stir this? So I'm just going to stir the peanut butter and yogurt together, stirring, stirring, stirring. If you're using natural peanut butter, it's best if you leave it out um, for sauce purposes because it can get very stiff in the fridge and it, um, it's a little looser and easy to stir up if it's out of the fridge. So we're just going to stir that up really well and then we're going to add about a teaspoon of maple syrup, just for fun. This is a very full teaspoon, full of peanut butter. So I'm just gonna stir that up a little more. And if your kids are not occupied in licking yogurt containers, they can do this part themselves. Wanna taste this? What do you think? Yummy? Maple syrup. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a little sweetness from the syrup, but it's not overwhelming. And then when we serve these pancakes, we can just dip them or plop the sauce on. Some ham, please. Okay, so we're ready to do our savory pancakes. We're going to do some ham, some ham. Cheese, cheese, and onion. And onion. Benji's going to help me cut up the ham. Again, this is a nice, easy thing for a kid to do, to practice some knife skills. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to cut it up like this in half. And then if you want to cut thin slices this way, that would be great, okay? Just like that. So this, for this recipe, I'm just using ham and cheese and onion because that's what I had. Um, but I think this is a great method to use up any kind of leftover or any kind of ingredient that you might have. Um, just think of it kind of like a sandwich. What would you want to put in a sandwich? I think uh, leftover barbecue would be amazing, like shred it up. Um, if you had some... Uh, I'm thinking like sweet potato and bean would be really good. Um, some feta and tomatoes or spinach. Um, any of that sounds really good. So really get creative. And also, if you don't have leftover oatmeal, but you have leftover rice or bulgur or any kind of cooked grain, some quinoa, all of that would be really cool to experiment with. So just, you know, think of this as a template for your creativity and what you need to get rid of because if you can use up your leftovers you're going to save a lot of money <sighs> and a lot of heartbreak on throwing out a bunch of food. So Benji I'm going to ask you to step back because I'm going to cut up the onion. Thank you. I'm going to use about a quarter of this onion just cutting off the end there. And I'm taking off the outside layers, the papery layers. And then I'm going to cut along, as best I can, cut along the natural lines of the onion because that'll help me to keep a nice, equal cut. I'm going to do slices, but you could feel free to take the slices and cut them to make some cubes. It's up to you. It's your preference. Um, I've done this with a leek before, so if you have leeks that you're not quite sure what to do with, um, that's a really good option as well. So I'm going to take some oil before we get started. I'm going to 
see some oil before we get started and just saute the onions a little bit just so they don't have that sharp bite. Okay, so we've sauteed down our onion. It's a nice and soft. We've still got some leftover oil in the pan. Whoops. So we're gonna take the batter that is left over from the other, the other pancakes. Um, obviously you don't have to do both. You can just choose one or the other, um, sweet or savory. If you're really interested, you could do both, but it's not necessary. Um, I'm just gonna do the same thing. One spoonful per pancake, and I'm gonna turn the heat down a little because it's really splattering. Then I'm gonna take a little pinch of the cooked onions, Remember, you don't have too much space. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the ham. We're gonna take some of this cut up ham and press it down in the pancake batter while it's still wet. sprinkle of cheese on each. And we'll make sure to press that down so it doesn't clump up too much and get all weird when we flip it. A little shredded cheese on each. This one is starting to look dry around the edges, so I'm going to gently get under there and do a flip. These ones are still a little bit wet, but I bet we could do a flip. And when I flip it, I try to turn the side that's on the outside over to the side being inside. So this side is going to be nearer to the flame. It's hotter. I'm going to try to make sure that this ends up pointing to the inside when I flip, just for more even cooking. Oop. And if you press it down a little bit, the batter will smoosh around the filling and just give you a nicer, more even So here are our pancakes. We have the sweet with bananas and our dipping sauce. We also have our savory. You can see the ham and some onions. Um, so that's it. I hope you feel free to experiment with this idea. Um, please let us know what you make in the comments below or you can email us. Um, let's write a haiku this week about choices, savory or sweet, or any other choice you may have made or want to make. Thank you for joining us again on Art Unboxed, where we encourage you to eat your art.